Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night uh, to anyone, wherever you're listening or watching this uh, on YouTube. It's That Peacock's Podcast, episode seven. Uh, I'm Josh Perkins, joined by... Jake. Now, I always feel quite awkward whenever we like introduce ourselves in the podcast. We've, we've also got people in the studio, so I feel like we're just sort of leaving them out. Uh, Nick Grimes, Jake Wannell, how are we? Yeah, very good. Thank good? You. Yeah, all good, thanks. How was, how's your week been? All right? Yeah, fine. Yeah, busy. Busy. First, first couple of days back to work with my new finger. Yeah. So. <laughs> how is the finger? He's red and scabby and horrible, so yeah. half still in the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> Another couple of weeks, it should be back to normal. Good, good start. So when you say busy, what is it just work or is it like tying that in with training as well? How 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 difficult is, you know, having a having a job as well as sort of comparing that to, to football as well? It's, yeah. it's close to impossible as it gets. <laughs> but I'm I'm trying to buy a house at the minute as well. So I've got work, visiting houses, doing viewings, yeah. training, then come to games. Well, Sunday's pretty much our only day off, isn't it? But I find it really hard with the labour of my job as well. But as I'm getting older, I'm yeah, just sat at a desk. So I'm slogging around on site right. all day, and then you've got Swindon to the Marine away on a Tuesday night, <laughs> up again at six. It's hard, it is hard, but yeah. you do it for the game, don't you? Yeah, exactly. You have to, you yeah. know. Um, so I suppose the, the main question we start with normally, and this is quite an out there one, it's not, you know, we're not stealing Jack Mate's happy hour thing or a meal quite. deal. Not quite. But there's a story, but I'm not going to go into the story because I, I go into the story every, every single podcast. It was the first away day for Jake. We went into a service station. So my question to you boys, what is the go-to thing that you guys get from a service station? Oh, God, Chrissy Krem to me. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's no, good. Not not really. Oh, well, well, before a game or after a game? Well, after, whenever. After, after the game. game. Yeah, okay. I ain't scoffing them. <laughs> <laughs> as slow as it is. <laughs> that celebration on the last maybe. <laughs> well, yeah. No, I'm pretty simple. I'm a Tesco's meal deal before. Game. Okay, yeah. yeah, for an away game anyway. After, there are after we just go mad, don't we? Chocolate donuts. If, there, if there's one of them chosen noodles, mate. Oh yeah, I'll have a katsu curry from there. I, I've never had the bowl. There's, there's a few lads. Ah, oh, there's <laughs> a few lads that have a few beers, but mm. I know Nick. Then he's allergic to beer. Aren't he? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Jake, can I ask what the what the meal deal is at uh, Tesco? What do you go oh, to? Pretty basic, you know? terrible. Oh, yeah, don't terrible. just, don't yeah, just no, have every, water. This no, is no, 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 every <laughs> week, every spicy week. chicken. Oh, oh mate. He cracks open the car on the way to football every yeah. week. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh a little oat bar thing and water. Just for a water. Game. Yeah, it's hard. He, it, We're talking about a man that goes to Mackey's and has water. Yeah. He'll have three burgers, two portions Jake, of chips. Jake, it's been fun. Leave. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. Do you think Kev Sorts is all about like Lucas Aiden that night? He does. He? So, yeah, that's very true. He's it's good. Man. He is the man. Yeah, um, I remember uh, the away day, Hayden mm, Yelling. Yeah. Um, my first away day. And um, at the end of the game, Kev comes up to us and goes, oh, we've ordered pizza for everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, boys, you boys want a pizza? We're like, oh, yeah, go on then, Kev. We're like, yeah. pizza. It was like, they're massive. They're, yeah. they're really big pizzas. We're like, ideal. Yeah, good. So we're waiting yeah. around and the pizza goes onto the coach. Yeah. And we're like, yeah. It's, it's all right. I suppose they'd get their pizza first, wouldn't they? It makes sense. And then after about 20 minutes, we were like, <laughs> I think we're getting this pizza. <laughs> should, we, should have Kev, asked, really. Kev comes but... out and goes, Oh, you ate that quick. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, no, Kev, we haven't had a pizza yet. He charges on the old bus. <laughs> she just takes a pizza off someone. <laughs> Walks back, it's like, not us, boys. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's, that's all right. Uh, yeah, and, and subsequently our WhatsApp group is now Big Boys Pizza Big Club. Big Boys Pizza Club, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. That is some serious pizza at Hazen Yellow, yeah. to be fair. Yeah, it is to be. Yeah, it was all right. We, we sort of judged it a little bit. I mean, I'm not a connoisseur of pizza. I think, I think but... we put it at about a seven. Yeah, I don't want to lie, we? Pizza, oh, yeah. pizza, nah. No, it was COVID when we used to uh, have to have food yeah, after the yeah. game. Yeah, we went went haze first game, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. pizza after. Unreal. The it's next time we went haze after again. Yeah. yeah, it was the most like, and we've we've asked this to to Rob and and Lloyd as well when he was down. How was football during COVID? I know it's going to be fairly, you know, the same answer for for all. But how how was it individually for both of you? We didn't have to do the horrendous stuff, did we? Like no fans or behind closed yeah. doors. I think we had like one or two friendlies behind closed doors. Yeah, it didn't really change us, did it? It was the first, the first break season you were here, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. The break was crap. Like when football comes out of your life, you do realise how much you miss it, yeah. the boys, and just the Saturday feeling. But we didn't really feel that actually paid the effect of it. Just sit there getting fat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was doing a thing. Yeah. Okay. Football's your excuse to eat what you want. That's yeah. We're over it now, don't we? Yeah, well. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, so let's let's go through sort of the you know I don't know how long we have on this, but the almost early stage of, of both of your footballing careers. Nick, I'll I'll start with you. Uh, what is the story of, of Nick Grimes when you like, when did you see? <laughs> <laughs> go on. Uh, 
one. <laughs> Should we tell each, do you want us to tell each other? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Jake started at Exeter. Yeah. Uh, got a two-year pro clean of balls <laughs> for <laughs> Melbourne. Beat six weeks. Uh, pro, uh, yeah, he then, he then claimed he was playing the Conference South, but he went to Dorch. Dorch yeah, yeah, and got sent back after six weeks. He got crap. Ripped, got ripped up. Yeah, uh, yeah terrible. So he got sent back there, and then since then he's been an absolute summer league merchant. Yeah. <laughs> Never set foot out of this league. No, he had a, he had a couple of years in the South and West with Salisbury, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. One promotion. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Well, at least he actually got a pro contract in the end, you know what I mean? Nick got six weeks, and that was it. And then he Three months. It's Sin- lasted six weeks. Was it Sinnerford, was it? Slimbridge first. <laughs> God, that was a tongue twister for me. Sinnerford. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. You've just been a bit of a non league bouncer, haven't you? Yeah, I've had a few, and I. Yeah, good. Uh, just a quick pause. Uh, Hoppy is currently uh, entering the media. You're right, Hoppy. On it. Hello. He sounds very happy. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that is. Miserable. Yeah. yeah no. We do. We do need to get like some sort of video thing going. I think that was an yeah, idea because I think. Happen. Yeah, I think Dan has a 360 camera, but I don't know how that works on YouTube. Whether you just slide across and to see everyone's face I don't know how it works but um, so that so that is your both yeah, of your careers for, yeah. as explained by yeah, each yeah. other yeah, yeah pretty much good Jake uh, anything you want to ask uh, Nick and Jake funnily enough there's two Jakes in here yeah Nick you um, see your brother the other day nice little pirouette oh yeah that was alright wasn't it that's on it yeah that's all my, I've seen on TikTok my Twitter is just a feed of propaganda for Matt Grimes so if anyone wants to sign him, just we look, have, at, look at my <laughs> Twitter and find all his best clips. Do you not think, do think, do think, think it's weird how they're so different players? I, 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 I kick it outside the stadium yeah. and he brings it down. I, uh, He's got a left <laughs> tank and foot and I've got a right clobber. Yeah, I was talking to you. He's got a beard, I've got nothing. Um, <laughs> Swansea's TikTok the other day because I saw them on LinkedIn and I was like, oh, I've got an in it. Mm. So I was like, oh, good work on your TikTok. I was like, we've just done this with our TikTok. He was like, oh, buzzing. So I messaged him and I was like, oh, how's Matt getting on? And he's like, yeah, yeah, good. I was like, his brother's our captain. And he was like, oh, is he? And I was like, hello. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> so I didn't know he had a brother. <laughs> yeah, he got all the good genes. I got all the crap ones. Oh, that's but, just, you're a top of the fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He ain't I don't know where right. I'd rather be. Yeah. How how does it feel to almost have football in? Well, de- you know, you do have football in the family with with you know a brother like like Matt who plays for plays for Swansea. How how does that? You know, how how do you find that? I don't know. It's just normal. Yeah. To me now, um, it's just always been my brother that's better than me. And you moan about it all the time. No, yeah, yeah. No, I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sort of no, nah, I've got I've got I've got a long standing joke that he owes me a Rolex for <laughs> no apparent reason. Right. But every single Christmas, this is a hill hat, by the way. If you listen, yeah, please, please, please <laughs> listen. Uh, every single Christmas, he hands me a box of whatever wrapped up, and every time I joke, oh, this isn't a shape of a Rolex. <laughs> it's a shape like this. No, it's the shape of a Lynx Africa bottle. So, you know, the, so I'm waiting, the he'll, he'll put my next gift in a Rolex box, and it will not be a Rolex. No. Or, or he'll, you know, just make, you know, the wrapping paper in the shape of a car, and then just yeah, in, nice. in the middle is the Rolex. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm, re- I'm really trying to force it through. <laughs> so we're going to go and watch him in a couple of weeks. Well, yeah. Like months. I think we've had a game rearranged or something. Mm. I can't remember what the exact date. Mm. We've got some Saturday off. Cool. Go up there. Nice one. Um, we are recording this uh, prior to the Kings Langley game at home on the 29th of January. Um, predictions, lads. What do we think about uh, Kings Langley? Don't say shit. Never mind. Go on. Well, they should they should be where they are in the league. We played them earlier. They played them good. Yeah, good. They battled us actually. Mm. We drew three up there, didn't we? Yeah, I think you but, scored that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah nothing less than three points really if we've got any ambition of winning the league or mm. securing playoffs I mean I don't want to jinx it so I'm not going to put yeah. a question on it but. D- does that you know 12 game unbeaten run does, does the form of, of Taunton currently like get in your head a little bit or it, it, is that just not something the players think about you are thinking about yeah. it yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing, amazing. Every feeling. yeah it's yeah. amazing the feeling after a game but every time I feel I'm going into a game I'm so desperate yeah. not to break the run mm. it's like I know you play a lot of FIFA it's yeah, like I if do. you're on a yeah. foot champs run or a pro club run yeah, or whatever yeah. you think oh, I just don't want to you don't want that first loss to come yeah. but the group, like chat, the group chat after a win is always good and yeah. Yeah. Go. keep Very the train good. running and keep taking choo-choo. off choo-choo yeah 
do you, you know very well put on your on your Twitter choo choo yeah. how, how is it like especially in this day and age with um, social media like you know you, you boys are both on Twitter how, do you feel like that's important to not keep your brand going as a, as a footballer but how important do you feel social media has become in the world of football for our level I think it's pretty basic yeah yeah. I don't like doing I know I'm probably I'm a bit busy I have typed media. out a few tweets and thought shit yeah, I can t- I can tweet that and then reverse it but yeah. I don't yeah I don't like tweeting the old I don't know, as good as your fans are, I, I, if you tweet fans are yeah. excellent or whatever, I feel like you've just got a load of lads that play higher than you. Yeah. Getting, what the hell is he tweeting yeah, out for? He's, exactly. He ain't playing high enough to be having fans. But yeah, I, I feel it's a bit awkward doing stuff like that. I don't know. That that's, yeah. you know I've, I've definitely tweeted it loads. Yeah. Mm. There'll always be someone out to get you as well. Yeah. It could be some... Someone waiting to have you off. Yeah. Someone yeah. Each other and Waiting to get you out. I think the you boys have got us into a bit of trouble um, earlier on in the season. Mm. Uh, taking over Twitter. Yeah. Oh, oh the, yeah. Bit of a a, trouble. Yeah, well, no, not at all. Not, no. Not, oh. We need to do that again. Yeah, no, it was good. Yeah, I thought it was right. Yeah, yeah. it was decent. We, we, were team. we were told off about a certain joke about shearing sheep. Oh, we were. Yeah. Oh, Which, really? to be fair, I thought we'd yeah. moderated quite well oh, from that? what it was originally. Probably like Jay. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was, yeah. yeah. But you know, oh yeah, yeah. He's, he wanted the game, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, not not too much trouble. Uh, that I can. We're pencil number one in our Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Since since, since, yeah, since the uh, moderation, please. Yeah. Right? yeah. So I, I think since you know you posted, both of you posted at each other's. Um, I think it was Bumble and Tinder. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> and leave, he, this, leave this to me then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, talking girl with Nick and Lee. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Any matches so much confidence yeah. in his team. <laughs> what yeah, do you mean, man? I don't know. The smile now. <laughs> <laughs> just got two soap bars as well. He can't uh, challenge. You just sprays yeah. it. In the face. <laughs> Uh, so um, I suppose uh, I, you know as I, as I say I don't, I don't know how much time we have at the moment but what is uh, both of yours like favourite thing either about non-league football or football in general or Taunton the support we get at Taunton yeah. I think <coughs> home, <coughs> home games like the 1400 at Tivy the other day was yeah. unreal yeah. Yeah. Like, stuff like that actually like yeah. and you've got like it's weird you've got like you talk kid, about kids, asking, kids asking you for a picture after the game yeah. Yeah. Like, you feel like you're a proper footballer yeah. Yeah. we both weren't good enough to make it so yeah it kind of I like feel like non-league football feeling. is yeah. different as well. Like when I was at Weymouth and Salisbury, they're big non-league clubs, mm. but this is better, hundred percent. What we get here, mm. yeah, that's that's the thing. And when you mention, you know, the fact that kids want to take photos, you know, with mm. you guys after the game, I'm sure that feels quite. You know, surreal almost because you think like, what, 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 why? You know, what, what have I done? You know, <laughs> why does someone want a picture of me? <laughs> like every nice. every time someone asks you, I want to have a picture of my lad. Yeah. I'm thinking, are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. Just, it's nice feeling. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, it's just like a mug shot, just in case. You know. Yeah. But um, okay. Uh, I think I, I mean I'm I'm sort of full up with all all my questions. Yeah, that's, I think that's we're going to move on to some more fun questions. Yeah, less, my sort of like, side make was it very less serious. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Lads, from each of you, yeah. I'd like to know one thing, sort of like a secret that you've not told the rest of the team. Oh, yeah. Something that you've done, something about you that you've not told anyone. Oh, no. I thought that'd be interesting. Oh. Mm. Oh, you buckled me there. Yeah. <laughs> or well, are you just that close as a team that there's nothing been there's there's Nothing you won't share. There's not much of no, people don't know. Open. It's very open. It's, a, it's one of the best dressing rooms I've played in. In time you farted in Lloyd's pint at the Christmas do. <laughs> You're welcome, yeah, Lloyd. That was bad. <laughs> Christmas do's, end of season do's, anything goes. <laughs> yeah. ruthless, to be fair. I think we did hear about Lloyd uh, I just, swimming across I was the about to bring that story oh, up. Yeah, 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 oh, poor yeah, Lloyd. I think, I think we're all... He's so Lloyd Irish is a menace. <laughs> yeah, he is a menace. <laughs> From minute one to yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah. Exactly. We have sat there. Bar, aren't we all yeah. like in a circle of chairs, and he's just stood in the middle, walking around, like grilling people. Yeah, which is like Phil Brown's yeah. halftime team. Sort of yeah. <laughs> all keepers are weird, but Lloyd's different. Okay. Yeah, they've all, yeah, all keepers got something wrong with them. <clears throat> yeah, it's, okay. it's a fact of football. Yeah. And there's something wrong with every single keeper. And with that, what's wrong with Will Buse? Oh, God. well, do you think Will's, Will's he's, he's a bit he's a bit quiet for a yeah, keeper? He's quite, okay, like, it'd be, he's very reserved for a keeper, but. Well, keep, keep, keepers, you, you either go two ways. They're absolute nutcases, or they don't say much. Yeah. Right, yeah. And Busey talks a lot when you talk to him. Yeah. But mm. in the change room, he's like, he's keeping himself to himself. He's a lot of the Lloyd, actually. Oh, fair enough. Oh, I suppose it's quite different. Lloyd's kind of similar until he gets a drink. Drink, yeah. A bottle of red in him, he's gone. One bottle of red and a straw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our team's very close. Mm. We're open, I think. Good. 
No, that, that's you know that's a, that's a good way to be. Mm. Um, and uh, I mean, the reason you're sort of hit here, Nick, is because I, I named you as Taunton's funniest bloke. Uh, yeah, so bloke 2022. That's it exactly. So. From both of you, who is who's the funniest person in the changing room? <laughs> you're, you're, Nick's going to say himself. <laughs> no, I'll try not to say myself. Try not. To. No, try not I mean, to. Yeah. Nick is one of them. Yeah. Certainly, he's got good crack because mm. he's older. He's got that experience. He knows what he's doing. And, but I'd say, uh, yeah, you're standing. I think me and Wallo help each other out. To be fair, yeah. like if if something's going on in the group chat, yeah. it's between us two. Yeah, always. And there's and there's not many others replying. Isn't there? <laughs> yeah. People, people just let us both go at it. And it's whoever can get one up on the other and it yeah. doesn't stop, basically. Uh, until, one says popcorn emojis, yeah. <laughs> until one of us says we're going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Say love you and go to bed. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Uh, you, you mentioned Ross Stern. Can I talk about the celebration that you guys have? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ross, all you score. Uh, where, did that, where did that come about? Uh, so his first training session, he turned up and we were all stood in a circle. Obviously, one person runs in the middle, does yeah. like a dynamic stretch. And he's running into the middle and started doing this weird dance. <laughs> and... No one, could really, no one could really get the hang of it or had a clue what it was. Like some, some of that's rhythm's terrible. I am one of them. Okay. I think, I can't remember what we were doing. Somebody said something about celebration and I just said to him, oh, ne- next time you score, we're doing that. Mm. And he scored like a second game at Paul, ran to the corner and I've just run over and started yeah. doing that. Yeah. And ever since that, we've turned, oh, turned as many pitches on. into our dance floor. That's festival. great. We've used it on a couple of TikToks, I think. Yeah, we? Yeah. yeah, I think the first time we used it was Western. When you scored, yeah, mm. uh, that was TikTok. That's when I was playing around with filters. I put that video out and decided yeah. don't play around with filters. <laughs> yeah. um, you got any celebrations for us today? Any I celebrations don't. for you today? Yeah, any recommendations for us? Nothing too heavy. Do you know what? Sue's been too popular, I think. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. I reckon. What colour are we playing in today? Uh, Claret and blue. Somebody scores, runs to the corner, chucks up the old irons. <laughs> call out West Ham Ooh. to Claret and Blue Clubs. Right. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. West Ham yeah, are massive. Mm. So, yeah, let's go. If we can get them on TikTok, no <laughs> problem. Yeah. We can make some friends with West Ham. Mm. I'll be yeah. happy. Who, who have you made friends with in terms of like TikTok football accounts? You've made a few, haven't you? TikTok football accounts. So, like I mentioned earlier, I had a brief conversation with Swansea. Mm. Dulwich Hamlet. Um, oh, yeah. They're pretty good. Chat to them quite often. Not um, many clubs do it, do they? Surely. What about the Lord young Lord owners? So, Wattman Hersham, Wattman Hersham, isn't it? Wattman Hersham, I haven't spoken to them. Oh, they've got the young lads, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I've not spoken to them yet. We've had an LA Galaxy pop up on one or two videos. Yes, yeah. I'd say something. So, um, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. Like, like say, I talked to Cal the Dragon the yeah. other week about <laughs> maybe getting Cal the Dragon down to do some <laughs> content with. God, get him on a live? Yeah. <laughs> 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 What's the other guy? Um, Simple Simon. Simple Simon. I was like yeah. trying to sort of get the What's trio of them down. What's the one? Two. Ed Matthews. Ed Matthews. Yeah. yeah. Hs Tiki Toki. Yeah. Hs Tiki Toki. Yeah. Oh what my boy, god. Man. Oh bloke. I saw him on the. Was it? I think it was Joe Weller's podcast or something. That <laughs> waffling. Yeah. I, I don't know. No. I, I've not seen much of him other than Cal Dragon's old stuff when he was. In goal all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before, Before he moved on to the goalposts. Yeah. <laughs> Before he moved on to the Gardens League. Yeah. Against Royals, yeah, Reunited. Yeah, he's doing, top team. He's doing there they are. Happy, so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You, you've had a bit of beef with Cal, haven't you? No, not a bit of beef. He just stopped replying to me. Oh, I think it's like Cal the Dragon. Yeah, pretty it's pretty embarrassing. embarrassing. But I think, I think you said, like, you asked something like, "Oh, are you willing to come down to talk for like a podcast?" And he was always oh, said, "Absolutely." Yeah, yeah. And you said, he, was, he was keen, and then he went quiet. But, but he's got a lot going on at the moment. Well, yeah. yeah. He's got to try and protect Astrid from <laughs> yeah. simple sight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bless him. He's, he's a busy boy. And speaking of Astrid, we've I I may have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. keen. She's keen. To well, down well. Is she coming down? Is she? Well, she? well, 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 here. well here. I, I, <laughs> The problem is, <laughs> we're not sure. We had obviously um, um, Bucket Hat Sam came down mm, the yeah, other yeah. week, and um, we were giving a little tour of the ground. And Kev was walking out, so I was like, "Oh, well, say hello to Kev, I was his chairman, and that." He goes, "Oh, hello, this is Bucket Hat Sam from TikTok." He said, "Yeah, I don't get TikTok. All the boobs <laughs> on it." <laughs> as if it's not an algorithm that's you know, you designed you directly watch? for yeah. you and uh, yeah, yeah I'll, just, I'll just swipe past it. right sure you do yeah. 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 they just keep coming up <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know my phone must be broken yeah, yeah. So, all, these, all these boobs everywhere <laughs> so I, don't know, I don't know they're bringing Astrid down is yeah safe well she hasn't replied to my well she did she said um, are there any posting obligations 
and then and I have absolutely and, no idea what that means. So I just than, asked rather than checking some with somebody on the media team, he went, "Oh, yeah, screwed." What does that mean? <laughs> no, no, no. No, <laughs> no. Well, she replying. Yeah. So, uh, Astrid, if you're listening, uh, come to Taunton. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Come down to Taunton. It wasn't a great... Uh, no, I don't want to say it wasn't a great you know, advert to you know, meet Kev and then him saying him just directly to Bucket House and he didn't know what TikTok meant. You know? I think it was he just told me out there he's got a TikTok account. Oh, he does? He does. He's yeah. Yeah. Because I remember when we did the... Uh, so he sort of good one over there. Yeah. The, the TikTok about Weston uh, with the in between us sound. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if people ask for like football, but not Burnley, when we did it with Weston. Yeah. We had a message from Kev that was like, make sure we're not swearing on TikTok. <laughs> there's people out to get us. <laughs> not like, to get oh, us. Yeah. God. There's, there's always people out there trying to bring us down. Yeah. And I was like, right, yes, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it in the future. Mm. I thought it was a great TikTok. Though. Yeah, yeah it, was. it was. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Maybe Weston. Yeah. Um, you got to walk the line, don't you? Yeah, exactly. And I suppose we've. we've Sort of touched on it briefly, like how how if you get negative comments and stuff on on things like Twitter, like how how do you guys deal with it? And and sort of leading on from that as well, like is, is you hear a lot about it, like men's mental health and stuff in yeah, yeah. especially in, in football. How how uh, are you guys sort of dealing dealing with that? At, you know, at sort of a lower league standard as well. No, I think we haven't got too much exposure to like negative comments. Mm. No, other, well, than, good. No, other than from like, other lads, yeah. you, get, you get a bit on the side. That's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm you just leave it. it. Leave comments. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Since I left TV for Tottenham, yeah, mm. had a few then. Including, Part of football, yeah. yeah. Mm. Can't imagine what it's like in the high Oh, God, oh right. yeah, yeah. But you'll probably must get it a bit. Yeah, and leads and that. Yeah, yeah. That I want a great time. We'll brush yeah. past that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I quite, I yeah. quite enjoy it. <laughs> no, no, I'm I've seen your replies I, on comments. Yeah. So I, I, to be fair, I get a fair bit mm. uh, on TikTok if it's a video that I'm in, like we did for YouTube, like we shot yeah, today. Yeah. I'm probably going to get rinsed for the video that we yeah. shot today. Mm. I'll rinse you. Okay. <laughs> I imagine so. Um, I think it's funny. It's so yeah. funny. Yeah, just it's to be able to go back to them. And, yeah, yeah. It, it just makes me laugh. As it brings back one of the best things that was ever said to me on social media was a couple of years ago when I'd had this old thing with Radio 1 by accident. And oh, yeah. Tricked them into thinking I was late for a flight, which I wasn't ever going to, and it yeah. became the whole thing of the breakfast show. So they were trying to get me there, <laughs> yes. sort it out faster up through the airport. <laughs> was night, and I, was, I was like, in Newcastle. Just <laughs> on a job. <laughs> and um, obviously, I so went out, it, it all stopped, and I put out a video, because obviously I was like, this is my moment. I'm, mm. I'm having my 15 minutes here, boys. Yeah. For our little apology video, and somebody retweeted it and was like, every day's bleak when you wake up with that hair. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag short back and horseshoe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It hurts, but it's funny. Yeah. Like, it's good. Yeah. So when, it, when it's good as well, like you're like, oh, fair play. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Hold your hands up. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, who's that side? Oh. Eddie. Uh, oh, yeah. He's off. He's gone. Um, I, I mean, I, I think uh, that's a that's a good place to end. I reckon. I'd say it's a good place. Yeah, to end. it's yeah. been fun. Yeah, call it. Thank yeah, you both. Good. Thank you for coming along. as well. No worries. No, thanks. Uh, obviously, we'll draft another two in the future. Eh? Yes. Next one, yeah, absolutely. Jared and uh, whoever. I, well, you'll be asleep pretty quick. Then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jared and Jack Veal. Get in back. <laughs> Great stuff. All right. Well, obviously, if you've uh, if you're listening, have uh, any questions sent to us? Send Jacob. Go on. Hold on a second. We Go forgot on. to do the. Club sponsor, unofficial sponsor the unofficial that don't sponsor actually. Podcast, okay, uh, the club shop. <laughs> Item of the day today. Mm. Baby grows. Baby grows. Yeah, we've got Thornton Town baby grows. Have a baby. Seven quid. Seven quid. Town baby grows. Seven, seven, seven quid. Baby grow. Not bad. Oh, Any Thornton Town gloves in there? My man Jake needs to cover a finger. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got a pair of gardening gloves in my bag. I've got a pair of motorbike gloves that I don't need anymore. Uh, so if you need them, you can run around. Them on, that'd be all right. Okay. Uh, yeah, any questions, obviously, send them to Jake on TikTok, just at Taunton Town FC. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do it. Or Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook, at Taunton Town FC. Just uh, make sure you say that it's a question for the podcast. Yeah. Because if you just start asking questions, I probably can't be asked to reply. If you hurl abuse, I'll, I might cry as well, so, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks, uh, J- yeah, Nick and no worries, Jake, for, for coming on. Appreciate it. Um, we will see you in the next one. Yeah, nice one. Take it easy. Cheers, team. See you. Okay.